How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> wow, I should have been prepared for that. I was not. Just like I'm not prepared for what the hell is this? Wait. Escape. Can see it. Can oh can you see it? See what Slendy? Um yeah. Okay, so last time I accidentally triggered Chapter Seven Homestead. Um, this is Chapter Six right here. Let's do this one first. Then if we have time, we'll go back into Chapter Seven and try to figure that one out. Hey! That's Kate, I think. Yes. Okay, close the windows. Don't close the window. Wow, she's going crazy. Yo. Is this window already shut? Yeah, that window's already shut. Okay. <clears throat> that window's already shut. <clears throat> what about this window? Not that window needs to be shut. What? What is the point in this scene? Yeesh. Oh, that window's already shut. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That window is already shut. Why is the door wide open? Brett, close the fr Close the door! Why would you leave a door wide open in the middle of a rainstorm anyway? Especially in this... Whoa. World. In this universe, that's like a double bad idea. Whoa. Whoa! Hide in your room. Okay, then! Does that really matter? Because I'm probably dead anyway. I really don't like the... Okay. Hide in your room! Uh, Slendy! Um, sheesh, is he like a, does he have like a vendetta against Kate and I or something? What? Okay, well that was chapter six. That was short. Okay. Now on to what we left, how we left things off last time. I looked a little bit into it, but I didn't really get much off of what I was trying to find out, though. <clears throat> okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Let's see if we can turn anything up. That's the bigger thing. If. There's a big if on that, buddy. I love the ominous music, though. It's definitely suitable for, like, the fact that this is kind of becoming a large mystery. So in this universe, who exactly is Slendy? Like, I think he's supposed to be, like, the spirit of, like, a dead character. Like, I think, what was his name? Michael? I think. I think one of these oil cans I'm going to end up needing. That's the only thing I think I missed out on that last time. Also, I'm an idiot. So that... All I had to do is pull a pulley. I... <clears throat> I didn't really consider that. Um, 
Heh, heh, shut up. <laughs> okay. So that should open a path for me. Find a way through the barn. Cool. Also, I should probably collect the notes I collected beforehand. First of all, this. A picture from Charlie about Slendy burning a house down. Was Charlie part of a cult that I'm unaware of? <clears throat> Sheesh. Any parents should, like, give off concerns about this. Make sure I didn't miss like any paper or anything over here. <clears throat> Is it in the toilet? No. Mm, typical. What I need is a hammer. Just to pull off this or a crowbar. Not a hammer. Either would work, the back end of the hammer, or a crowbar. Okay, I guess not. Hmm. <sighs> this level is very conflicting with my brain hole. Alright. So if it's interactable, interact with it. How about over here? My guy kind of feels like he's slouching or crouching or something. All wheat and barley should be stored in a subterrane cellar for cold storage. Wheat can be stored up to nine months. Pending moisture. Dry grain should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage. Cooling the grain ensures insects remain dormant and minimizes mold grow. Okay. Oh man, it's dark. <clears throat> the generator is out of fuel. Okay, so we need gas. <coughs> Alright. Question is, where do I get it? Hello? Hello? <clears throat> this is one large open field, and I don't know how to feel about it. <clears throat> Can I go to the windmill? Actually, no, I can't, but what the hell? Hello? Oh, I don't like this. Ha <laughs> ha! 
man if I knew how to open my inventory in this game I'd, I'd read that right now but uh, yeah I don't know I didn't get another gas canister I really don't like this, though. Mommy? <laughs> Wait a minute. Kate? Don't. I knew it. The proxy. That's the thing that was in that previous level. That is Kate. Hi! Please die. Go away. Go away, Kate. Also, my phone went off. Why? Aaron messaged me. I'll have to look at that in a sec. Do, 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 do. Hello! Wait. Okay, that's where I started, so... Ugh. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Way, Kate. Yeah, I've already been. Yeah, I, I don't. I think I got everything. Um. Whoa, whoa! All right, dude. Sheesh. Or is that Charlie? No, because Charlie, I think Charlie died like as a kid or something to Slender Man's hands. I don't know. It's, that that's what I got from the flashback. I don't know though, or the memory, I should say, if that's what you want to call it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there are any others. Okay, I I guess we're leaving now. Yeah, Kate, I I I, I don't want to I don't want to see your face again. I think I've seen enough of it in that one level. <laughs> All right.
hopefully I got enough gas containers to be able to fill up that um, thingamajigger. If not, then, oh boy. Okay, it should be over here. My question is, I see Kate, and I leave the door wide open. Why was that a good idea? How is that a good idea? Oh, wow, I can actually see stuff. What the? Yeah, I'm in the house of the insane. Hey, hello? I'm gonna go this way. Am I inside of a silo? Hmm. What a happy little family. Makes you wonder why Charlie drew a picture of Slenderman burning their house down. Let's see. Wow, this is a really old school photo. Uh, back row, Georgia Matheson, Franklin Matheson, and James Matheson. Okay. Um, middle row, Ada Hayes, Henry Hayes, Elizabeth Matheson, Frida Matheson, and Clarence Matheson. And then the bottom row, Maggie Rose, Maggie and Rose Matheson, Norman Hayes, Patri and Patricia and Walter Matheson. <clears throat> that family doesn't seem too happy. Okay. For a moment I thought that that, this part of the house, or burnt down shed right here, I thought that was Slendy. Ugh. I don't know, man. Okay, Key, get me the hell out of here. I'm done with this slender crap. Watch Kate run in and kill me. That was definitely Kate, for sure. It's becoming night. I guarantee Kate's gonna run out of that cellar and kick my ass. I can kiss I can kiss my rear end goodbye. I hear that. I was right. Yep. Alright, get me the frick out of here. Dude, you gotta go faster than that! Or not, or, you know. What's with all the gravestones? Uh, Maggie... Oh, of the, it's a, they're gravestones of all the people of all the people I just saw, huh? Dang. Margaret Matheson, Lawrence Matheson, Henry Hayes. And then I'm assuming, yeah, Norman, Marshall. Yep, they're all just gravestones of the people we just saw a picture of. What happened? Like a normal death, or did they die via like some kind of demon ritual or something? <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, this way. I 
I seek only salvation for myself and my family from that demon sent to torment my life. I brought the devil's wrath upon my family. I did this. I went searching for this demon. Why? Why would you search for the Slender Man? I brought him into our lives. I invoked his arrival. How could I have I how could have I been so blind as to manifest such evil? Why could I not let old legends die? How, uh, wait, when were, when were you born? Because this legend started in the 1920s, if I remember correctly. Via a picture of New York. They will never come home. The arch fiend has them now. We all must bear this burden. We must all repent for our ignorance and rid this world of this demon for good. None ever shall confront this evil ever again. It dies with us. May the fire cleanse our souls and burn our sins. Frida Matheson. Why, Frida? Ah! That was definitely Slendy. Oh, boy. I'm at a pedestal now. Great. How did that benefit me? Okay, this is Walter Matheson. May the angels guide you home. Sure. This door appears to be locked. Oh. Wait. Why is this door suddenly shut? And locked. Slendy locked me inside, didn't he? I mean, there's not many places to go in here. Slendy, the power of Christ compels you. What the? Hello? Did not see that one coming. Okay. How are you, Kate? Um. Yeah, hey, Sunday. Okay. How in the frick do I get out of here? Be a little bit reasonable here. Wait, that's it? You just have to get out of the building before she chases you? That's it? I guess. Alright. Wow. We're talking old tales here. Dearest diary, Patricia still has yet to come home. Mother insists she ran off to search for wildflowers again. But I know that's not true. It was that man, that thing. Grandmother keeps... Ranting about, on about, I do not like, I do not think she's mad. <clears throat> I have seen the man myself. He watches us as we play. Party went to him. I just know it. If only mother would listen. I wonder when she'll come home. Wait, so Rose looks up to this guy? Wait, is Slendy good or bad? 
but it's more or less the same. It's it's always been. Maybe tomorrow. What? Father is making us pray again tonight. It'll do no good. It's bothersome, if anything. And I'd bet anything Patty and Walt ran away with this miserable old place. Ran away from this miserable old place. And I don't blame them one bit. Grandmother and Rose insist... Uh, okay, so this is someone... Else. This is Maggie. Rose, I believe, wrote the other one. Some funny take that a strange man took them away. Am I the only one keeping their wits around here? Maybe I should run away too. Okay, dearest Frida, though my heart still pains for your missing children, I fear for your health, my sweet sister. Mustn't worry your mind with those twisted tales of our youth. You know as well as I, they were merely tales to keep us all in good behavior. Only Mother knew... Yeah, I wish. In this world, I wish. If only Mother knew what those silly legends would do to you. Though I have no recollection of the one you mentioned. Was it from one of Mother's books you took with you? I wish I were with you now, in your time of need. Rather than whittling my days away alone, I wish you well. An ocean away. May my thoughts and prayers reach you, Franziska. How sweet. It's very kind. Oh. I'm just noticing all of the papers on the walls now, and I don't like it. Yeesh. I don't like this at all. Come home now. You. Um. Can I just decline and run away like the other kids did? They were smart! Also, why would I hide in a shed that's basically a dead end? Isn't it? This building is a dead end, right? Yeah, because he can't go through the back door. Is this kind of one of those cases where I'm going to find out there's a way out and I'm going to feel really stupid on how to actually do it when I find out? Oh! Yep. You know what happened? That character dropped the camera. That's what happened. Whoa! Okay. Um. Um. Lengthy episode, I guess. Could call it the final episode if this is what I think it is. Yeah, I think we're going to wait. All right, well, <clears throat> extensive episode this time. Oh, well, or maybe we cut it. We trimmed it down. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, yeah, going to leave this video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Slender the Arrival. We are coming very close to the end here. Um, <clears throat> if you liked it, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. I don't know. Next, maybe next time I'll make the episode a bit shorter. If you really like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a horror game you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, Want to check out one that's been done prior to this in this kind of manner? Click the link in the bottom right corner or try to take you to that destination. If you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across right here and try to take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!